My thoughts are that if this show doesn't start as well as you like, if this show, uh, it, you think about, you know, two-thirds of the way in, the show isn't uh, looking as good or is performing as well as you think, all you got to do is just wait because you never know. Things can change pretty darn fast. I'm going to flex on you guys like Al Horford. The <laughs> Boston Celtics looking down and out. It was at one point with three minutes and 23 seconds Terrible. to go in the third quarter, 80 to 67. Oh, brutal. The Golden State Warriors got an avalanche of points. You know, I guess I'm mixing my metaphors from uh, sports, sports playoffs going on right now. Well, they won two, Rich, 4 nothing. I know. A blowtorching of the place by Steph Curry in the first quarter of that game. And the Celtics not only survived it to keep it close, but took a halftime lead only to have what the Warriors have done to so many teams in these playoffs. Certainly the Mavericks felt it in the Western Conference Finals. The Memphis Grizzlies, not so much as the Warriors survived them. But definitely the Denver Nuggets. Definitely the Denver Nuggets felt the Warriors doing poorly until a five, six-minute stretch just threw something on their opponent. And the Celtics survived that by putting a 40-piece on the Golden State Warriors in the first game of the NBA Finals in the fourth quarter. And just, I, I, again, my two cents on these Celtics over the last several weeks have been the fact that Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, on occasion, will take a game over for the other if one is not performing at the A-plus superstar level. And last night, Jason Tatum was having an off night for him. And then Jalen Brown reminded everybody in the Bay Area that he played at Cal. (laughs) And he just took the game over in the third quarter. That's when it started, when he kept things close. And then in the fourth quarter, did his thing. And then everybody else began to join him. Horford, Marcus Smart coming off of the bench after the team performed extremely well with him on the bench. This kid white, man. Yo. He plays both ends of the floor, and he can make threes, and it was a right. blizzard of three-pointers. Yeah. The Celtics proved once again that they have the ability to put the pedal to the metal and start raining in threes on you. 21 of them last night, just raining them in from all over the place. And since when did Al Horford become Robert Ori times uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo? When did that happen? I, no I mean, he, he waited his entire <laughs> career for this moment, and it was obvious that he was saving it all up for this moment. Al Horford made six threes last night. Certainly not in the year he played for the Sixers. 26 points. He led the Celtics last night, and the Celtics come up with a shocking Game 1 performance. I mean, Horford is saying it with his chest. He's putting up the Draymond Green Arm flex Double to the to pose. the to the Golden State Warrior fans who were shocked, ready to celebrate <laughs> Steph Curry's <laughs> Steph Curry's clear super uh, performance in his first NBA Finals MVP campaign to be successful. I mean, at one point, I thought it was over when Andre Iguodala's making threes, and it's just yeah. like. Yeah, it's yeah. just like, okay, we've got the current Warriors with their first NBA final MVP of this run, putting it all together. Curry's unstoppable. Klay Thompson is making tough threes. Kevon Looney's blocking shots. Looney is blocking shots. And then the Celtics are like, nah. no. Nope. We're 7-2 and two on the road in these playoffs. Make that 8-2. and two. A 40-piece in the fourth quarter last night. It was crazy, Rich. You know, uh, I think today is the anniversary of that Jordan Shrug game uh, from from 93 or 92, whatever it was, against the Blazers. Jordan had six threes in that first half, and everyone went nuts. Like, it was nothing we'd ever seen. Curry had six in the first quarter. Yes. Like, it was was nothing. You know, the Celtics were kind of – they're doing the switch thing, but the big man was dropping, just giving him wide open shots. They were giving wide open shots all over the place. And then Curry didn't score a single point in the second quarter. Picked up his third foul. Picked up two more fouls to get three at the half. The Celtics take the halftime lead, but then Kerr and the Warriors did their usual third quarter thing uh, to take a 12-point lead into the fourth quarter, and the Celtics start making threes one after the other. The Warriors stopped making their threes, and then the Celtics started playing lights-out blanket defense while not missing a shot, and that's how you go – 
into game two with some considerable house money. Having taken game one, first Crazy. game the Warriors lost at home in these playoffs. First one they've lost in that building. I think first game one they've ever lost with Steve Kerr as the head coach. That was an incredible comeback by the Celtics last night and an off night by Tatum. And, you know, M.A. Still had 13 U- assists. M.A. Udoka, man. What a coach, man. This guy, this guy has Yo. totally put his stamp on things. And his stamp is tough defense and team spirit in a way that we did not see from the Celtics the first couple of months of the season. Something clicked in in the middle of January. Something happened to this team, and they have not looked back. They are an incredible cohesive unit on defense and then on offense, making threes from all over the place. And this coach, when they were on that 17-0 run, he called timeout twice. (laughs) Twice to make sure that the Celtics were going to get a good shot because he had the timeouts to spare. He had three to go with less than four minutes. He had three to go. He had his challenge. He had it all working. And and the momentum, normally just like let it keep going. He stopped it twice to make sure the Celtics got a good shot to make sure that their run would continue on. And each time they did, he set it up. You know who, who did that? particularly well Brad Stevens did that that was one of his hallmarks this guy's got the same thing and the team believes in what the coach is selling obviously more than what Stevens was selling I mean you could see that over the last few months here incredible hey you watched all the way to the end thanks for that watch more right here